Girl, what? You ain't got to hit me in the face with a whip, mom. <laughs> I, I ain't never heard that before in my life. Either. What's the big old deal, YouTube? Hey, get that <laughs> shit though. You feel me? And I, I dab hey, it. wait. I, I dab <laughs> it. Yes, sir. All right, so look, man, we're about to jump into some more reactions over here because that's what we do over here on this channel. Yes. Reactions, not just comedy not just reactions. Comedy, yes. All kind of reactions. All reactions. So y'all go ahead and flood that comment section up. Tell give us, us what some, to do. Give us some ideas. Yeah, give us some good ideas, man. Let us go ahead and get to it, baby. Yes. And look, we apologize for you guys, man, because look, we get a lot of a lot of requests. Lots and lots and lots of requests. So just be patient with us. Mm -hmm. I know we're gonna come around to it. I know some of y'all be getting all feisty and all that. You know what I'm saying? You wanna fight, we can fight. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But uh <laughs> wow. Even after we fight, we still ain't gonna post it yet, because we still ain't gonna get down <laughs> to it yet. So your arms gonna be hurt. Right. Your fingers. Exactly. All that. You know what I mean? So, with that being said. Let our family know, baby, who we're going to react to today. Okay. White guy speaks on his first black cookout experience. Now, this should be interesting. Yes. All right, so we better get into that. <laughs> so, <laughs> y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Y'all have not yet joined uh, this channel yet. Uh, and the shout-out will be in the video. Let's go. All right, I'm going to start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, Okay. Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully really understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of, like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, you ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, why don't we go get a cop from Buddy Mike? Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookouts. So I show up. He said, wait, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. <laughs> I, I ain't never heard that before in my I mean, life. That's new. He's right. And how he stood like, he's like, hey, you ain't got to hit me in the wet mop in the face with a wet mop. So like, shit, I'm dead. The hell? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookout. So I show up to the cookout. All right. As I step out of my pick -em up truck, I realize the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkin, and me. All right. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa, all of his great grandma and grandpa, and his 47 cousins. All right, well, there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's, where the food, everybody's eating that, okay? Uh, okay? They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They fix your plate for you. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this with barbecue. Okay? And I'm going to eat. Wait a minute, though. He said the Dixie plate, though. We be buying the Dixie plate, though. Was, and it was whopped. Right. There's so much food. Heavy hair, right. boy. So much food. Piled up, though. Like, woo. Like, now, what can I, what should I eat first? Right. Like, Where do I start, man? Like, damn. <laughs> Oh, uh, he on uh, point so far, hurts. though. My he on hurts. point. He on point. Oh, my goodness. Oh, let's get it. Off like this with barbecue, okay? And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, and you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. All right. They said, we want to get your your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, uh, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. 
Well, I ain't finna piss nobody <laughs> off at this cookout, okay? So I ate both of them, and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't take them. <laughs> now, at this current time, I am uh, almost in a food uh, coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect <laughs> nobody's cooking there. And then his great great Wait a minute, dog. Oh, my stomach. He said like he don't ate so much because he don't want to disrespect nobody cooking because you know how black folks eat. Oh, yeah, I'm in pain. Yo, you better eat that uh, food you made for you. Oh, my gosh. Uh, who, would think, who, who, who would think you think of something? Oh and you white too coming to the cookout. You he ain't said, eating no food. But he said I'm supposed to know, like I'm supposed to know the difference between the man right? Eggs, right. <laughs> wow. Damn. Oh, cause I've ate so much cause I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. <laughs> and then his great grandma, <laughs> Mama T, that's what they call her, she comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. <laughs> now, let me paint a picture for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right. That barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness. And she wants, she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have, you ain't gonna be chasing me through these pines. We way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there, because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. You don't mess with her. Right. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian psychosis <laughs> of a food coma. I did just like this, right? Okay, so they call it the Caucasian tytosis. You're right. And we, we call, call it, it the, the itis. The itis. You're right. Okay. The itis. In case you guys didn't know, black folks, we call it the itis. Woo. Once we finish eating some food like that. Especially Thanksgiving. It's, it's night, night. night night. Night night. Night oh, night yeah. sleep sleep. We're out. I'm gone. <laughs> we are out. Yeah. Caucasian psychosis of a food coma. <laughs> now I did just like this right here. Just like this. I'm like, whew, I'm full. <laughs> as soon as I'm tipping my head right. back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow, I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And that, the cards is in front of me, and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea. All right? I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day. Literally. Wait a minute, what the hell is cornhole? <laughs> you ever heard of cornhole? What is cornhole? Oh, my Hey, y'all let us know what the hell is cornhole. I never heard of, I heard of, we said blowfish? I think or so. Goldfish. She said goldfish. Uh, I heard of that. I never heard of those. Corn? I never heard of that one. <laughs> We played go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible, walked out in the field, got some corn, took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went down there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I realize, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Because as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up, and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and say, hey, buddy, you want to go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shit and clue what they're talking about. But I ain't going to piss nobody off. You got to understand, at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? Now... I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, uh, right. which I kind of knew how to play from the elf. Hey, honestly, he, that kind of threw me off. Right. No bones? Dice? Yeah, that's dominoes. I that's dominoes. That's what I thought. Right. Maybe down south. So, or, yeah, where they somewhere had, else yeah, it's, maybe, it's different. Yeah, maybe it's different. Yeah. We don't say that. We say shoot dice. Right. Or what they're here for. Right. Actually, what they're here for. Right. You know what I'm saying?
Elks. I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Oh. Okay, and apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for white man loses because they just took my money. I just put some more down. Oh, gator? Money, which is fine. Made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. Now, I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place. <laughs> now, I get to my truck, I put my hand on my truck to go open it, and there's just like a sense of relief that comes over me. Like I didn't piss nobody off, nothing went wrong. I went, I made it. Now, as I open my door, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around. The whole damn cookout is behind me. Everybody there is right around my truck. With Mama T right there in the front and my buddy. And he looked at me, he said, hey, buddy, next week's Mom T's birthday, you coming back? And I looked at him. <laughs> Bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, yeah. you damn right I'm coming back. <laughs> That's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you, if you get the invitation, you better take that shit. Because that is the best food you ever going to get in the nicest damn That's people. I scared shitless. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like, or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? He'll, he'll, he'll feel at home. He got white beaters and stuff. Yo, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I. I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. There's nobody else. Hey, that's facts, though, man. I don't know how many Caucasians out there that be watching this or whatever, but if you guys have ever been to a black cookout, then y'all oh, know exactly goodness. what you're oh, talking yeah. about. Oh, yeah. It's a great experience, man. We be playing good music. We we got to have a cookout. Oh, we'll have After one. this pandemic, we'll like, have for one. real. Oh, yeah, we'll have one. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully. Y'all would have fun with us. Yeah, oh, yeah. Y'all have a ball oh, with yeah. us. I'm telling you. Off camera, <laughs> things that we can't do on camera. Oh, yeah. We're oh, having man. fun. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a whole lot of fun, mm -hmm. man. So, but, yeah. Hope you guys uh, definitely enjoyed that one. This dude is funny as hell, oh, man. Yeah. If y'all want some oh, more yeah. of this guy right here, y'all leave a comment down below. <laughs> leave a link, you know what I mean, to another one you guys want us to react to. <laughs> you feel me? Let's get to some shout outs. Oh, man. Okay. First shout-out goes to Matt Roper. What's up, Matt Roper? Matt Roper, what's going on with you? <laughs> shout-out to you. Uh, yes. Have you ever been to a black uh, cookout before? Right. You know what I'm saying? If you have, let us know. Let me know what your experience was. Right. And are you black? Right. And are you black? <laughs> Second shout-out goes to Thomas Brett. What's up, Thomas Brett? Thomas Brett, what's going on with you, champ? <laughs> uh, we hope you enjoyed that. Uh, also, let us know if you've ever been to a black cookout. If yes. you're not... Black, you know what I'm saying? Let us know if you have been to a black cookout, if you have. Right, what was your experience like? Right, right. let us know what your experience was. Yes. And did you eat Mama T's uh, pie? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cousin Pete! Yeah, yeah. people, don't play about the food, Do not play man. about the food, I'm telling you. Ooh. Matter of fact, true story, we went to somewhere, somebody's house, mm. and, uh, you know, my girl, she wasn't really hungry, so she didn't want to eat. I had they, 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 major attitude oh, yeah, aimed towards me. I was not hungry. Right, and we black. I was forced to make a, a dinner plate yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. I wasn't hungry. Right. So. I had food at home, but hey. Y'all ever go to a black cookout, y'all better eat that food. Make a plate. It's good, though. It's Make fire. a plate, even yes. if you're not hungry, just make a plate. Right. Take it to the crib, because you'll it, love it for it sure. It saves a lot of, lot of issues. <laughs> Leftovers is the best anyway. Right. Me? So... We'll catch y'all in the next run, man. Yes. Peace. Peace.